Welcome back to TM Academy. Okay, let's have another problem. Okay, so our function of y is equal to the sine of 3x squared plus 8x plus 26. Okay, so we have um, let u be equal to 3x squared plus 8x plus 26. So our function of y is sine of u. Okay, so the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to, using the chain rule, we have the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, this is equal to the derivative of a uh, function y, which is sine u, okay, with respect to u. Multiply it by the d over dx or the derivative of u with respect to x, which is 3x squared plus 8x plus 26. Okay, so we have dy over dx is equal to the derivative of sine u is cosine u. Multiply it by the derivative of the 3x squared plus 8x plus 26. This is 6x plus 8. Okay, so our dy over dx is equal to the quantity of 6x plus 8 times the cosine u, which is the 3x squared plus 8x plus 26. Okay, so this is the dy over dx, or the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, let's have another one. Okay, our function of y is equal to the cosine of e raised to 3x minus 5. Okay, so using the chain rule, uh, we will let u be equal to e raised to 3x minus 5. So our function of y now will be y is equal to cosine q. Okay, using the chain rule again, we have the dy over dx is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, this is equal to the d over du of the derivative of y, which is the cosine u. Multiplied by the d over dx of u which is e raised to 3x minus 5. Okay, we have now the dy over dx is equal to the derivative of cosine u is negative sine u. Multiply it by, okay, so using the chain rule, we have the d over the du of e raised to u. Multiply it again by the d over dx of the 3x minus 5. Okay, so this is equal to the negative of sine u. Derivative of e raised to u is still e raised to u. And multiply it by the derivative of 3x minus 5, that is 3. Okay, so our final answer, we have the dy over dx is equal to the negative 3 of e raised to u, which is 3x minus 5, multiplied by the sine of u, 
which is e raised to 3x minus 5. Okay, so this is our dy over dx. Okay, let's have another problem. Okay, function of y is equal to the ln of the secant 5x. Okay, and our function of y is equal to the ln of uh, secant 5x. So our solution here, again, we will let u be equal to the secant 5x. So our function of y now will be equal to the ln of u. Okay, so our dy over dx is equal to the dy over du multiplied by the du over dx. And this is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u, which is ln of u multiplied by the d over dx of u, which is secant of 5x. Okay, dy over dx is equal to derivative of ln of u is 1 over u multiply it by so again you seeing the chain rule we have the d over du of secant u times the d over dx of 5x okay dy over dx or the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 1 all over u is our u here is the secant 5x okay multiply it by what is the derivative of secant u the derivative of secant u is um, secant u tangent u Okay, then multiply it by the derivative of 5x, that is 5. Okay, so dy over dx is, okay, 5. Secant of, what is u? That is 5x. Tangent 5x all over secant 5x okay so as you can see um we can cancel out the secant 5x right so our dy over dx will be 5 of tangent 5x okay so this is our dy over dx Okay, let's have the last problem. Okay, our function of y is equal to 2x minus 1 of cotangent of 4x minus 3. Okay, so our working solution here will be VGU plus u dv okay so we're in we will let u be equal to 2x minus 1 and v be the cotangent of 4x minus 3 okay so our dy over dx is equal to the cotangent of 4x minus 3 the d over dx of 2x minus 1 plus the 2x minus 1 times d over dx of the cotangent of 
4x minus 3. Okay, so the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the cotangent of 4x minus 3 times the derivative of 2x minus 1 is 2 plus 2x minus 1. Multiply it by, so using the chain rule again, we have the d over du of the cotangent u times the d over dx of or x minus 3. Okay, dy over dx is equal to cotangent 4x minus 3 multiplied by 2. That is 2 cotangent of 4x minus 3 plus the 2x minus 1. Derivative of cotangent u is negative cosecant square q. Then multiplied by the derivative of 4x minus 3, that is 4. Okay, so our derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the 2 cotangent of 4x minus 3 plus, or rather, it should be minus because of the negative here, minus 4 times 2x minus 1. Multiply it by the cosecant square of u, which is 4x minus 3. Okay, so this is our derivative of y with respect to x. Thank you for watching.